What's up guys, Cody here back with a new video. Just gonna move that mic a little bit. And today we're gonna be reviewing the new movie that came out last week called Get Out. Um, if you guys haven't heard about it yet, basically it is a movie, it's a horror thriller mystery, I guess. I guess that's the best way to explain it. I don't know, I count it more as a horror. Um, but basically, so it's about this couple and uh, what's the name? Chris and Rose. Now, Chris is a black guy while Rose is a white girl, but which sounds weird to be saying that, but that does have a big point in the movie. Um, so <coughs> they have been dating a few months, uh, so I think it was three months or something, and they're going to meet her parents. Now, she did not tell her parents he was black. Um, and of course, he's making that a big deal. She don't see the big deal in it, so whatever. So he gets there, and um, they're acting very, I don't know if, it's not really racist, like, it's, I call it kind of white collar. Um, they don't know they're being racist, but what they're saying kind of is. Um, but besides that, it's all fine and dandy, you know, they're nice to him and blah, blah, blah. But basically, so you find out later on the movie, there's some deep, dark secrets with this family um, revolving black people. Now, I'm not going to do say anything about the movie, about what happens. This is a non-spoiler review. Um, so that's basically all I want to tell you is... Uh, couple goes meet family, um, some shit goes wrong, <laughs> um, but, so let's get into the actual review of it. It, it. I like the movie. I thought it was really good. Um, a lot better than I expected, actually. Um, it starts, the first act is kind of boring, which, I mean, they're introducing to the characters and kind of showing you some backstory and stuff like that. So the first act's pretty boring, but about 30 to 45 minutes in, it starts getting really good. Um... And I'm really surprised about who directed this. I actually did not know this. A friend pointed out. Um, Jordan Peele directed this, which I did not know about. And I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like that kind of comedy or the movies him or uh, the other one, Kean Pill. I don't like this kind of movie. So I was really surprised when I found out that he played in this or directed and wrote it. Which kind of puts it higher up on my scale because of the fact of who did write it and direct it. Um... Great cast. Cast was perfect, in my opinion, for the story. Like, they all did a really good job. Um, I don't know any of the actors' names. None of them I really knew that well. There's a couple in there that are a little more popular, but I don't remember their names. Um, but great cast. Um, the, uh, let's see what else is there. The, the dialogue was really well written. Um, it's not pointless dialogue, you know, that a two-year-old could write. It's very well written dialogue, and um, the cinematography of it really well put together, really well filmed, you know, the right kind of cut scenes when they should be, um, and stuff like that. Um, now, as far as the story goes, I think it was well written. Um, there's a few things in it that was kind of weird. I guess it's not really weird. There's a plot twist in it, which, I mean, obviously it's a horror movie, there's always some kind of plot twist. Um, and I did predict the plot twist. Um, like when the movie first started, honestly, when, when I saw the trailers and saw what it was about, I kind of already assumed, and I say a lot of people did too. Um, but they weren't bad plot twists. Uh, I was fine with it, even though I predicted it. It didn't really ruin the movie for me. You know, some movies you find out, you figure out the plot twist and it ruins everything. This one wasn't that bad. Um, me knowing about it and figuring out didn't really change my feelings on the movie at all. Um... But, so there is a plot twist, like I said, it's a horror movie, so that's going to happen. Um, but I think one thing that really made me like the movie more was that we haven't really got that many good movies out this year. So finally getting a movie that <clears throat> was pretty good kind of made it higher up on my scale. Because this year so far has been horrible. Um, this month's been a little bit better, but like January was, was horrible. January usually is horrible. But, you know, Resident Evil, Triple uh, X... A few other movies like that. And then, you know, February rolls in and we start getting John Wick 2 and Lego Batman, <clears throat> which I haven't watched either one, but I saw they've gotten really good reviews. Um, so we're finally getting to that period where we're going to start getting a lot more better movies. You know, Logan comes out next month, so does King Kong and Power Rangers. So this year's getting pretty interesting. Um, but I was really surprised about this movie because I wasn't expecting it to be this good. And... Um, <clears throat> A lot of websites are giving like an 8.1, like Rotten Tomatoes, I think, give it an 8.1. IMDb gave it a 7.5, I think. So, <clears throat> sorry guys, my throat's killing me. So it's getting really high 
um, reviews, which I'm really surprised about because it's just not really one of those movies that, I mean, after seeing it, I understand, but before seeing it, you know, I didn't really look up reviews. I just looked up the ratings and it was doing really well. So I was really surprised. And one thing that made any sense is we went Saturday night. Well, the movie came out Thursday. And in our theater, I don't know if all theaters, everyone else's theaters like this, there's, you know, two side, one side, two sides, and movie theaters on each side. Now, the last two on each side, one over here, one on the other side, are the smaller size theaters. And this was in a smaller theater for some reason. It was the very last theater down at the end. And one of the theaters about half the size of all the other ones. And I don't know why. I don't know if they just had so many movies that they couldn't put it in a bigger one or what. Because it just came out and did it was doing really good reviews. So I don't know why they had it in that smaller theater. <clears throat> which I was actually okay with because you're close to the screen. You can see a little bit better. Um, and that theater was it was sold out with it being such a small one. Um, but So I highly recommend going to see the movie. It was really well. Like I said, good dialogue. It was written well. Good story. Um, good shots. Um, one thing I did like they did this movie was they made you care about the main character, Chris. Um, you know, a lot of movies, whether it's horror or whatever, um, they try to make you care about the main character, you know, to care what happens to them if they die or live, which I'm not going to say what happens. Um, and they don't do that. You know, usually if the main character dies or doesn't, you really don't care. Um, but they really did that well in this one. You really, you really cared about the main character, Chris's well-being. You really wanted him to surpass everything that's happening in this movie. So I really like that. It makes you know, makes you get more in, more involved with the movie itself. Um, so overall, overall, really well movie. Like I said, everything about it. I mean, I can't think of any, too many small or any big problems with it. Um, I can't think of really anything off the top of my head right now. Besides just the first part of it was a little bit more dull and boring, which is just kind of building up to the climax of the movie. Um, but it had the horror and suspense, and it even had a little bit of comedy. And it wasn't wasn't comedy just thrown in there. They put it in there really well. They kind of eased it in there, you know. It wasn't kind of like to break the tension. Um, and a lot of movies do that. And it, when it does that, it's like um, what was the, movie? the Visit. The Visit tried to add some comedy. If you guys haven't seen that movie, don't waste your time. <laughs> um, the Visit tried to add some comedy in the movie. And it was just poorly executed and just kind of thrown in there sloppy and it wasn't good. But this one, where it added it, when it added it, how they did it was a good job. Um, so, like I said, go watch it. Really good movie. Me and my wife went to see it. Um, it's a good movie. Take, you know, girlfriend, wife, friends, whatever, go see. Um, it's not really that violent until the very end of the movie. Um, it gets pretty gory at the end, but it's not horrible. It's just about maybe 10 minutes of that. Um... But I'm going to rate it. I'm going to start doing that for most of these movie reviews, especially since there's a lot coming out soon. Because next month I'll be going to see Logan, which I'm having high hopes for. Um, Kong, I do, and Power Rangers, Iffy. Um, so I'm going to start rating my movies. I have a 10. I'll have it showing somewhere up here. Um, but so this movie, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, for the fact of it was overall, it was an above average movie. Um with the way it was written and the way the script was and the characters and it's everything about it like i said there's probably a few things i can nitpick about it, but i'm not going to do that nothing major everything about it was well well put together and uh combined to make a pretty good i guess i'm not gonna call it a horror movie i'd say more of a suspense maybe mystery i'm not gonna say it's a horror movie but a pretty good movie in that genre so definitely go watch it um let me know in the comments down below if you liked it if you think you should go watch it um what's your opinion on it? if you liked what anything about it or didn't like what if you didn't like it what did you not like about it um well, that's gonna be it guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button for me i'd really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed subscribe um i'm trying to get a more constant schedule going on some stuff going on it's kind of hard to do but i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you later